Making it with leftovers, which feels like sort of not great, but watch what we do with it. Get fired up. It is impressive. Making a fried burrito. Fried burrito with tamale pie. Is that something y'all ever had? Never even heard of that in my life. I can't be the only one. We had that once a week in my house growing up. Maybe your mom made it up. That could be. She made up a lot of things. But so tamale pie, any kind of casserole, mom clued into this idea that if you put cheese in it, put it into a tortilla and fry it. It, anybody would eat it. Well, it sounds like so you know, you know what I mean. You fry anything, and just about anyone will eat it. Absolutely. Okay. Good. Before we get started, yes. I want to take a look at your book because yes. you actually have a whole chapter in your book that's On dedicated leftovers. to these leftovers. Yes, so that's how passionately I feel about leftovers. I think the idea is that you need to turn them into a new flavor. So if you if you just reheat them, it's not going to be quite as exciting. Okay. Uh, cheesy latkes from uh, mashed potatoes, and in this case, we're using a casserole and turning it into sort of Latin flavors, so mixing it up and making it different so you want to eat it. Okay, and this fried burrito looks really delicious. It's also um, has zero calories. Right, and it's fat, fat free. It's totally fat free, fat free. So, so it's perfect for everyday life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No, it's um, it's non-dairy. It's it's great for right. everybody, no matter your diet. Everything she said is completely false. This yes. It's full of fat, cheese, yes, and guys. delicious. How yes, guys. How do you do it? <laughs> okay, so you want to help me roll some burritos? Just roll them. Yes. Unreliable Rachel, narrator. We, just because it is our first... Can we get just a little candlelight, maybe a bottle of wine? Absolutely. Oh, I'm that apologize. is coming out oh, next oh, I'm 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 my wife, I want to make totally. it. Totally. Please hey, look. See and I'm going to do yeah. the leftovers. So this is not a this beautiful dish. This is the best I could do. Here. Okay, thank you. There's Perfect. I'll take the Gatorade. Yeah. Good. Yeah. There you go. Thank make sure awesome. it's Make sure it's the best I Right. Fried burritos and casserole. So you're going to, I know it's messy, but it's going to taste good. Don't worry. So you're going to take your leftovers. Make a, it, it actually is. So what is this here in the leftover situation? Well, this is a casserole that you might have had on Monday and then okay. we're gonna turn it into something else for Tuesday or if you want maybe you don't want to eat the same thing two days in a row um, okay. you can freeze this and then fry it up later I, I would just like to eat something yeah first of all let's just take a moment for how gigantic oh, we got to go about half this I think much. you just called me fat Rachel no, I would no, like to have it's a all gonna come out in the oil if you do it that way okay, okay. so fold in your ends and then do that there you go so you want to do a tight okay. fold. Y'all let me know what you think of that. Okay. It's oh, calorie-free. Go ahead, do your thing. Yes. I want to ask you. So this is what your mom would make, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So that's her style. What's your style of cooking? I would say that my style's a little, a little trashy. Um, okay. uh, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. So my With family bragging. is originally the more, the more from talk, Oklahoma. The more I fall in love with <laughs> <laughs> My family's originally from Oklahoma. Um, I lived in L.A. for a long time, so I like to mash those together. So it's okay. a little trashy. It's a little pretty. We make it work. Put that seam side down, guys, because you don't want all your stuff so to So what is this? Out. This is just oil. This is Vegetable just oil. oil. We're frying it up. You can put it in a fry daddy. If you wanted it to be a okay. little healthier. It looks amazing. Yep. Okay. Is there it. a way to make this healthier? Oh. Ta -da! Wow. Oh. I like that drum roll. How long um, do we leave it in the Dutch oven? Um, you're gonna you're gonna do it until it gets brown on both sides. So a few minutes on both sides, you're gonna flip it over until it looks brown, until the cheese is melted. Is there a way to make it healthier? Don't eat it. Have a salad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cheat meal. This is something you indulge right. in. It's not a healthy. You know what? Dinner. I found this out. If you do it, eat in one bite. Mm -hmm. Less you so just had yeah. one bite. Yes. So if you can put this all in your mouth at once, you can yes. say, oh, I've just had one bite. Or if you cut <laughs> super aggressively, that's going to burn calories. So I feel <laughs> like <laughs> that'll work. Nope. So now I know Mark and Julie have this problem in their home. Mm -hmm. They have there. four okay. mouths to feed. Okay. Yes. Okay, four mouths to feed. Two yes. of them Wait, are four legged mouths. Wait, can I this problem on to? Okay, <laughs> I like that. Plan. Well, okay, the problem is that not everybody wants to eat the same thing in their yes. house. And yes. so Julie has become this amazing chef and makes like 16 breakfasts yes. in the morning <laughs> before she sits she down does. to write. No bueno. I so mean, what, yes. what if everyone in the house doesn't want the same thing? Can you so my boys are 9, 8, and 4, so we've got okay. all different palettes. What I dig about this is it's a fried burrito that Dave and I will love, but it's also the ingredients are here for a quesadilla. So if you want something for the four-year-old, you don't have to make something new. You can sort of pick and choose those elements that they will eat. Also, don't forget your toppings. Oh, no, because I haven't Sour forgotten. cream, salsa, cheese, scallions, that's all going to make this burrito even more delicious. Could you put more cheese inside before you roll it up? There is never <laughs> too much cheese in my heart or my mind, so the answer is always <laughs> yes. Absolutely agreed. Um, the other thing, I, I mean, think about this for all of your casseroles. It's going to sound a little trashy. Do this with spaghetti and use mozzarella cheese. Do this what? with cherry pie filling and add cinnamon and sugar. Oh the fried gosh. burrito is the king of your weekend. You just don't know it yet.
Mm. Well, and football season's coming up. This is great Absolutely. for football season. Delicious. Now, you said there isn't another way to make it healthier, but no. truthfully, you could bake it. Truthfully, right? you could right. bake it. You could put it in your toaster oven. Um, you could, I mean, you could, you could blot off some of that oil with a paper towel if it's going to make you feel better in your heart. Say and no. you could freeze them. Wow. You can make them ahead yes. of time. Yeah, so and make them before you pop them into the oil. Just put them in some foil in the freezer, and you're ready to go.